Hello and welcome to our latest sneak peek video spotlight on the upcoming hero, Empath. This crafty support hero may leave you bewildered as you find yourself closer than ever, or maybe even inside your allies. To start, let's take a look at her skills. Her first ability creates a link between her and a target, draining health and allowing her to move freely. If they get too far from each other, the link will break and stun the enemy. This is her only offensive skill that deals direct damage. By backing off as Pharaoh flees in this clip, she sets off the stun, allowing her ally to step in and help finish him off. Her second skill gives her even more crowd control, creating a wall anywhere within a thousand range of her that only allows allies to pass through. As you may have figured, this skill has infinite uses. You can use it with more versatility than Behemoth's Fisher, since you can choose what direction you want it to face and not have to worry about blocking off allies. Empath's third ability gives her team a global health regeneration aura that's based off both flat numbers and percentages, making it useful even in longer games. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. Her ultimate allows her to hop inside an allied hero where she takes zero damage and gives the hero an attack speed and damage boost. While inside, she can use her other skills and items freely. Giving Empath an incredible amount of survivability, she's able to avoid dying to damage over time spells by simply hiding in the body of a nearby teammate. As a general support build for Empath, you should max out her first skill, Essence Link, immediately, since it's her only disable and main source of damage output. For Illusory Veil, the casting range and length of the actual wall stays the same at all levels, so I would suggest getting one rank of it and going for the health regeneration aura to better assist your team. Train your ultimate as soon as possible, and after maxing out her global aura, put the rest of the points into her wall and stats. Depending on the lineup, you may also find that leveling the wall may prove more useful if you gank frequently at early levels. When choosing items for Empath, the main things you'll want to focus on are activatable items and auras. Since you'll be able to use your items and abilities while inhabiting a teammate's body, items such as Tablet of Command, Astrolabe, and Storm Spirit will be especially useful. This clip here is a clear example of how Empath is able to safely enter a team battle and use her skills while hiding in the safety of her blade-wielding host. While inside an ally, her life drain ability will heal both her and Swift Blade, making for some epic action. Although playing truly as a support hero, Empath becomes a powerful ganker while riding a close companion, since she's able to block off exits and keep enemies from running or chasing. Not only can Empath use items while inside an allied hero, but she can use her skills without breaking her host's invisibility. While using her ultimate, she's able to use a fifth skill to give a short movement speed boost every 5 seconds and help guide her ally to a kill. Since Empath doesn't take damage while inside an allied hero, she can effectively use items such as Astrolabe safely from the very center of a team battle to get the full benefit of the item. Do keep in mind that items which give you attack damage, speed, health, armor, etc. will be virtually useless while using your ultimate, so focus on getting items that you can use from the safety of an ally's meaty innards. Alright, again we'd like to thank everyone for watching and I hope you've gotten some insight on the skills and playstyle of the new hero. You'll soon be able to say that you've been inside your good friends and teammates.